This video will cover how to set up allocation rules to recognize revenue before it is actually earned. You may want to view future revenues as they are accumulated during the life of the project, regardless of when they will actually be recognized. For instance, the project may be billed monthly, but you may need to track the amount you will bill to the customer weekly or even daily. In Acumatica ERP, you can track future project-related revenues as they are accumulated by allocating the corresponding amounts to special account groups. To track future revenues, you need to create two new account groups. Unbilled revenue, this is an account group of the asset type. Unrecognized revenue, this account group is of the liability type. Each time you run the allocation, a transaction will be created that will debit the account group used for unbilled revenue and credit the account group used for unrecognized revenue for the same amount. Later, you will recognize this amount as revenue and charge it to the customer when you are running the project billing. Let's look at what an allocation rule might look like. We start with the calculation rules for the allocation for a time and materials project. You will choose the allocation method, Allocate Transactions, all the unallocated transactions for the specified account groups. You will need to add steps here on the left. These steps you see are just calculating totals for these specific account groups. You can have as many steps as you want to specify different account groups you may want to have totaled. Since we are just totaling and do not want a project transaction to be created, we make sure this box is not checked, and by not checking the Create Allocation Transaction box, the calculation settings are not available for any entry. In this step, we will recognize the revenue. We use the same allocation method. This time, we will check the box to Create Allocation Transaction. This will create a project transaction based on the calculation settings below. We will select transactions from previous allocation steps, then we select the range to start and to end. You can have as many steps as needed included in this range. The calculation settings are describing what will be entered on the project transaction itself. The magnifying glass can help you with these formulas. So we have the quantity formula, the billable quantity formula, the amount formula. So here we are going to mark up the expenses by 30% to recognize revenue. You would use your own formula. And then the description uh, for the entry. On the allocation settings tab, for the first three steps, nothing is entered, just default settings. On the allocation settings for the revenue recognition step, you want to post to the GL, so we will check this box. We want this particular transaction to be reversed when we release the invoice, since, since this is when we will record actual revenue. Here is the debit account group and debit account for the project transaction and the GL transaction. Here's the credit account group for the project transaction and for the GL transaction. There are three different ways to run allocations for projects. Automatically, so every time a, a project transaction is created, on the project screen, under Billing and Allocation Settings, check the box to run allocation on the release of project transactions. This is what it looks like. You can also do it on a schedule. Under Processes section on the Projects or Construction Workspace, choose Run Allocations by Projects or Run Allocation by Tasks. You can also run it on demand. Just from the project screen itself, click Actions and Run Allocation. Now that we've made this allocation rule, we will use it on a project, making sure to add the allocation rule to each task of the project. We've made a project transaction. Notice the amounts here are 500 and 1,000. Transactions would normally come from time and expense entries, AP invoices, inventory, etc but notice the amounts because they will be marked up by 30% during the allocation. Here is the allocation transaction that was created. Notice the description came from the allocation rule, along with the amounts are 1.3% higher. You will also see these amounts on your balances tab of the project before billing. 
You will run a project billing and make sure your billing rule includes the unbilled AR account group. Your invoice will be generated with the billing rule. And now, because we have marked the allocation to reverse after billing, unbilled and unrecognized revenue are zeroed out. And the actual is now in the revenue. Let's take a look at the revenue recognition for a progress billing project. There are some configuration settings that need to be set up first. On the project task screen under task properties, mark the completion method as either budgeted quantity or budgeted amount. Budgeted quantity calculates the percentage based on actual quantity and revised quantity on the cost budget tab. So you can see what the completed percent equals actual quantity divided by revised quantity. Same with budgeted amount. This takes the amount instead of the quantity. The system calculates it based on the actual amount and revised amount columns on the cost budget. After these percentages are calculated, calculated, it is then multiplied by the revenue budget to record recognized revenue. The second configuration step on the cost budget, you need to mark any line you want to calculate on the allocation rule by checking the auto completed percent. You may need to look in the column configurator for this column, or it could be far over to the right. If there is more than one cost budget line associated with the task, maybe with different cost codes or different inventory items, using this completion method, the results can be unpredictable due to different unit of measures of the cost budget lines. We strongly recommend that you use this method only if the task has one cost budget line. Here is what an allocation rule might look like. On the calculation rules tab, the allocation method will be allocate budget. We do want to create a project transaction, so this box will be checked. The account group will be revenue, and the calculation settings will just have the description we want on the transaction. On the allocation settings tab, we do want this transaction to post to the GL, so we will check this box. And then here is the debit account group for the project transaction and the debit account for the GL transaction. And here's the credit account group for the project transaction and the credit account for the GL transaction. The billing rule will need to be set up to credit this account so this balance can be reversed. This rule does not automatically reverse. We create a new progress billing project and assign the allocation rule to the tasks. We have checked the autocomplete on both tasks. We created a transact transaction to show $3,200 of labor and $5,250 of material expenses. The system will calculate the percent complete by taking the actual amount divided by the revised budgeted amount. So for labor, that is 40%, and material is 35%. The system will then take those percentages and multiply the revenue budget amount to make the entry for the allocation, which we can see with the actual amounts on the budget. The transaction was created. The Balances tab of the project shows how the entry hit the unbilled AR and the revenue for projects. When we run project billing, instead of hitting revenue, it will reverse the unbilled AR. Here is the invoice when running project billing. Notice the account on the invoice is the unbilled AR account, not revenue. One more look at the balances tab and you will see the unbilled AR is not zeroed out, is now zeroed out after billing. Thank you for watching. A quick recap, we created an allocation rule for a time material project and saw how the transactions were created and can be automatically reversed. We learned three ways to run allocations and we created an allocation rule for a progress billing project and saw how that would 
go through to the billing rule. Thank you for watching.